just checking to see if the car's still there. It was so windy last night, it's crazy. We drove back to the barn and we're staying here for a few nights. We stayed up pretty late last night getting videos edited. We got so many done. We've still got loads more to do, but Sasha's sister has such a fast internet connection. We're taking advantage of it and uploading as much as we can while we're here. Sasha's gonna do a workout and I am going to make breakfast. It looks like it's gonna be quite a sunny day. Well, it is for now anyway. I tried to work out how to use the Arga oven yesterday. It's actually quite complicated to use these. It's kind of like a permanent storage heater. So depending on which oven you use, it's used for different things, like one will be hotter than the other, one's for baking, one's for roasting. And these pans on top keep the heat in. I spent about 20 minutes reading this Arga manual from Mary Berry, and I'm still clueless. Today should be quite fun. We are heading into London to meet up with my brother and quite a few of our friends and we are going to the Sky Garden. It's meant to be a really cool view of the city, nice place to get a drink. One of my brother's friends works there and can get us in without booking, so looking forward to it. It's about an hour's drive from the barn to London, so we'll be heading out later today. And then when we're done at the bar, we are going to Brick Lane, which is famous for Indian restaurants. We're gonna have some food out there. Closed. Bought ourselves some real natural Greek yogurt. It's so much thicker than the stuff that we buy in Thailand, so I'm looking forward to it. This is called Faye. It's not Phage Sash, it's Faye yogurt. Because I read it on the packet. I knew you were going to do that. Look at that, it's like clotted cream. Nosh. Okay, well, while Jay is making the Faye yogurt, I will make the coffee. This is actually a really good one. It's got like the creamer that goes on the top when you brew it. So it's, it's, a, it's a bit nicer than your normal instant coffee. And it actually has ground coffee in it. So that's why it tastes quite nice. So we are gonna spend the morning editing again and catching up with all the stuff that we have left get behind. Just setting up another video to edit and then we're gonna head out later. Really nice. Right, a few hours have passed and both me and Jay have got videos finished and we're waiting for them to export and while that's happening Jay has put together a rather delicious looking lunch. We have got Italian chicken wholemeal pasta, multi-grain bagels, some garlic roux. <laughs> Looks tasty. I think I'll have time to catch up on a couple of my vlogs that I watch before we head out. It's time to drive to London and meet up with everybody. For November 20th, very windy throughout the evening with heavy showers and lows of 11 degrees, so brightening up tomorrow with a high of 12. First petrol stop in the Fiat. Do you know where the cap is? Yeah. All right. This is alien for us now, doing our own petrol filling. <laughs> so used to having somebody do the pump for us. Sasha didn't leave herself much room, she had to squeeze out. No idea how much it's going to cost to fill up the tank. Sounds like she's fiddling around a bit. We're currently on pound eight per litre. Well, we won't officially know because the pump was playing up. How much fuel did we get from £20? 18 litres, three quarters. Uh, probably maybe 30 quid to fill up. Yeah. We'll find out when we go to Wales, I guess. All right, we're out the car. Off to meet my brother at the train station and then into central London. Three minutes. So we're late. Need to get some tickets now. Yeah. We've got one minute to get the train. Do you get two tickets? One yeah, we've got two tickets. Quick, quick, quick. A change. Brother. <laughs>
don't know why I ran so many <laughs> <laughs> Super speed. I didn't get into an M1 so I was over. Super busy in here, Sash. Man, the human traffic. <laughs> Crazy amounts of human traffic in Liverpool Street today. Do some barging. Look at his Asim. Asim. Yeah. Check out it. <laughs> We've got five minutes to get to the Sky Garden before we lose our time slot. Are we outside? Are we? I bet she's not there. We've got to do some serious pacing. Being late is a bit of a running theme for me in London so far. Every time I've gone to an event, I've been late. I don't think I've ever walked through here before. Have you not? No. Okay. This is a well cool little atmosphere in here. Yeah. It's basically all the city boys. You come here on a weekend, you'll be dead. What is, is it? It's just all the people coming after work for drinks. What's the area? Oh, did you know? Um, no, actually, I don't. <laughs> We're almost at the place. It's where we're heading, Michelle. Yeah, I think so. Up there, yeah? So, we are. Just trying to gather all our friends, they're around here somewhere. Sainsbury's local. And then head up. It's super windy, isn't it, Sash? Yeah. It's actually blowing me over a little bit. <laughs> I just walked past you. Oh, Obviously. Jill's here. I'm just, just there. Are we ready to go in it then? Went from here to 159. VIP access. We, we've got Carrie to thank for this. He's given us VIP access into the building. <laughs> No queuing for us. <laughs> Walk around the middle. Oh, is that the peasant key? Yeah. We skipped it. This is the common as well. Look. It's a sky garden. It's in the Very trendy. Are <laughs> oh, you not been up in time? Yeah. yeah. What the price is that? What we say? Yeah? Is it affordable? Did you just say three thousand pounds for a bottle of champagne? Oh my word! Yeah, maybe in a few years. <laughs> myself a cider, cost £5.75. Sasha's got a Pinot Grigio, who is £8. She didn't want to get it, but I was like, come on, we're up here. Go have a drink. And now we're going... Yeah. Now we're going on the garden tour. See the London Eye. St Paul's Cathedral. Very cool. Jill's enjoying her bitter lemon. <laughs> They've also got a little restaurant up here where you can have dinner. So this Sky Garden is actually free. You can come up here for nothing. You'd have to stand in the queue and you're only allowed to stay up here for an hour at a time, isn't it? One hour at a time. But free to get in, so if you just want to come up and take a picture, maybe just get a water or something, <laughs> it wouldn't cost you that much. You could get a cappuccino for £2.50. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, if I'd have known, I would have got a cappuccino instead. So it's just looking at the St Paul's Cathedral, drinking a wine. Doesn't seem fitting, does it, Sash? Yeah. We don't normally do this kind of thing, do we? This is a bit better. There's like less reflection on the window here. So you can see out clearer. 
Telescope. I mean, you can zoom right into people's rooms and stuff, so I said it's a little bit pervy, but Ooh, yeah, I like pervy it. deal. Yeah. <laughs> Heading up to the Fenchurch restaurant. Big steps. I can see the water now. Yeah, I didn't Yeah. Asim has an indestructible phone, apparently. Zero damage. <laughs> Free telescope. Oh, she's showing us how to focus it. <laughs> this looks funny. <laughs> That's Canary Wharf over there with the flashing light. And I used to work in there. I worked there for about three years. This is my friend Erkur. I haven't seen him for a very long time. A year and a half? <laughs> oh yes. Who's got the biggest beard? Adam wins. Asim is winning. <laughs> We are now heading to Brooklyn for a Indian curry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just following the show. You popped one? Yeah. 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 We are done at the Sky Garden bar. We're all very hungry. Jill is leading the way. Although we're all a bit scared because Jill is rubbish at <laughs> leading the way. So we'll see where we end up. Omar does not trust Gillian and he's got his Google Maps out. Just in case. Just in I'm case. Doing the maps out. The watch will take you the way. Omar is an Apple technology mm. freak, by the way. Yes. Omar has all Apple products. No, okay, we are at Brick Lane. <laughs> okay, we need to gather the group. Where is everybody? Are we here? Which yeah, where should we go? Okay, we're being sold. When you come to Brick Lane, there's always somebody outside trying to give you the best deals. This guy has given us a pretty good deal, but we haven't seen anything else yet. I'm not sure what they're going to decide. I'm leaving it up to the guys to decide where we go tonight. A starter, a main, a bread, and a rice for £10, and then he just chucked in a soft drinks as well and pop on. So that's quite good for £10, but... But it's already on discount, on, on their window, it's 20% discount, so it's £14, <laughs> uh, so it's already £10, you know? Yeah, that's okay. him, he's the expert. It's all looking a bit samey, isn't it, Sash? Let's have a look on my plate. Nice restaurant, this one. 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 I think every time we come to Brick Lane, we always like turn left and go to one of the first three restaurants, isn't it? Yeah. You just get sold really quickly. Okay, so head off the valley. So, it's high, like, so in essence, it's become head of my team. I mean, I mean, you know, like last time in Jake. Unfortunately, there were far too many customers. So we're heading back to Brick Lane. Still haven't decided where to eat yet. <laughs> we're going in here. Let's do this. Yeah, I need 
need to get to it. Finally found a seat. Right, so we finally found a place to eat. We are in Nazarul, the oldest restaurant in Brick Lane, apparently. I, re I reckon many places could claim the same thing, couldn't they? Everyone's waiting for their food. We're both going to get a starter, a main dish, a naan bread and rice each. And supposedly it's supposed to be 13.95 is the number. <laughs> Turn left on. And we are finally back in the barn. It's interesting to be up London today. Felt really, really busy, really rushed and really stressful. Not used to that anymore. Too much pace. But it's good to see friends. Good to see the Sky Bar, it's something that Sasha and I wouldn't normally do by ourselves, so we only do that when we go out with friends. Hope you enjoyed this little insight into our London life. Hit the thumbs up button for us if you enjoyed it, and also check the orange button for us if you want to see how you can support us on Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.